Linda from paperboutique.blogspot.com. Today I'm making this cute card and I'll also be showing you a fun and easy enameling technique that you can use with your Cricut cuts. I'll have all the measurements posted on my blog at www.paperboutique.blogspot.com so you don't have to worry about writing the measurements down as we go through the video. Well first of all, um, in making this card, I used uh, for the back for the card itself or for the background, I used a piece of cardstock, I'll just leave that in frame, that is 10 inches by six and a half inches. I folded the card in half. For this card, I used the background paper here for the actual card is Good Morning Sunshine and it's from the Lucy Bird, Con Lucy Bird Collection from Imagine S. Then the next layer of our card, this was 10 by six and a half, is four and three quarters, which is right here, by six and a fourth. This particular paper is the Twinkle Twirls Glitter Paper. All of the papers today are going to be from the Lucy Bird collection. Before attaching this layer, I tied um, a ribbon in a simple knot and then went ahead and attached it. Our next layer is going to be three by four and a fourth. And this particular layer I made out of pink paper that was already embossed. You could use Swiss dots to go ahead and emboss that. The next layer, or the kind of the blue color, is two and three quarters by four inches. I tried an interesting technique, and I'll, I'll hold it up to see if you can see this. I used my Cuddlebug folder on this and did the swirls on top of the pattern paper, and I really liked the look. Next, I used the storybook cartridge and cut the marquee on page 66. I cut the marquee one using the shadow function, and then I cut the accent to match. And the reason I did the shadow function instead of the background to match is I wanted it to be a little different. I didn't want it to fit exactly. I wanted it to be outlined. I used Photoshop to create the free as a bird text and then cuddle bugged it and, and attached it to the, to the frame. Lastly, I used um, a chipboard accent and I love this Imagine Us collection. I, it's from Chickadee Chipboard Stickers and it was just a, a cute little um, chipboard accent and I used three little flowers. I don't even remember, they're just from my flower collection and three rhinestones from Kaiser rhinestones just to set it off and it just turned out to be a cute little card and I will I do need to finish the inside but this paper I just wanted to show you is reversible I made this for um, a retirement card free as a bird well next I'd like to show you a really quick enameling technique that you can use with any of your um, Cricut die cuts and I'm not sure you're going to be able to pick this up but this is just a regular flower from the Forever Young cartridge and it looks, by the time we're done, it looks like chipboard with good gloss on it. For this technique, you're going to need um, what is called ultra thick embossing enamel. Sometimes it's called UT. This particular one is from Sue's Weinbergs, but Ranger has ultra thick embossing enamel, ultra thick embossing powder you can pick up at Michael's. You'll also need a heat embossing tool. This um, it looks sometimes like a hair dryer, but it's specially made for stamping and embossing. You can also pick this up at Michael. This one is from Marvy. And what I do to make things easier when I'm doing, I'm going to move the enamel. I put my ultra thick and all of my embossing powders in these little Ziploc containers, and I just keep a plastic spoon in there. It's just much easier to do. And another trick. I do is I create a handle. A lot of people use tweezers to hold it, but then you get marks. No matter how good you are, you get marks in your embossing. So I created just a handle, which is just a small strip of paper, and you just fold it up, fold one edge up, and then fold the next edge back. So it looks like that. And then I put some double stick tape or just my tape runner and attach it here. Well, this is the final one, so let me show you the process. You'll also need some Versamark or some sort of um, embossing ink. I use Versamark. Ranger makes an embossing ink pad as well. 
This one, as you can tell, is really well used. I save it for embossing all of my die cuts. Well, let's go ahead. I've attached my little handle. So what I'm going to do is I'm really going to get a good, good layer of ink on there. I'm going to take it and dip it into my embossing powder. And I've got a pretty good coverage. And then, sorry for the noise, we're going to have a little noise here. And then what you're going to do is it's going to be really kind of bumpy at this point. You're going to do this process three times. And if you're quick, you can get it right back in there and it'll cover. And you can see we don't have a great coverage. So what I do and you can tell it's getting a little bit smoother. What I'll do now is let it cool just for a second and then I'll dip it back into the ink and my little handle came off so we'll want to get a really good coating of ink on there. Get the handle back and then I'm really going to dip it in the embossing powder one more time and this should give us a really smooth And I don't know if you can see that, but it is just absolutely perfect. It's kind of a flawless enamel, enamel cover. I'm going to set that over here to dry, and then once it's dry, you can take it off, and you'll have something that'll look like this. And I just added a little rhinestone. But I want to show you a card that you can make using this technique. Now, we, if you take the same measurements that we used for this first card, the difference is when you go to put this particular layer, this was cut at three by four and a fourth. All I did for this card is cut it at six so I could fold it in half so then it would be three by four and a fourth. The flower I used here is from Forever Young. The flower measures two and three quarters inch. I used flower number eight on page 71. I didn't use the base because it had a leaf in it. I used the shift key to cut the flower and I'll hold that up and I cut up like that with the swirls and then I cut the layers. Then um, I also cut up this liner using um, the birthday folder but I'm going to hold this up. This center was done using the same technique. I used this blue paper and just used the clear embossing powder and put it on top of the flower. Super easy technique. It works well with pattern papers. It works well with solids. Well, I'd like to thank you for watching and please check out my blog at www.paperboutique.blogspot.com for more videos and project ideas. Bye-bye.